so welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 maths and in this video we'll be going over the theme of coordinates with a focus on finding missing ordinates now sometimes the question may give you one ordinate and an equation and they ask you to find the other ordinate now to do this all you need to do is just simply substitute the given ordinate into the equation and solve so for example looking at our straight line graph here we've been given the x ordinate of 8 so looking at this we know that x equals 8 and we want to try and find out what y is so all we would need to do is basically sub x equals 8 into this equation here now when we're dealing with quadratics and parabolas we do exactly the same so here we're given our x ordinate which is 12 we want to work out the y ordinate so all we need to do is basically sub x equals 12 into the above equation and it will give us the respective y ordinate so now let's have a look at some common examples so here we've been given the coordinate of 3a lies on the line so we know that this point definitely lies on that line and so all we need to do is just find the y ordinate so for this particular question what i need to do is i need to substitute x because i know that value x equals 3 into this equation so here i've got y equals 3x minus 8 so then substituting x equals 3 into this equation, I get 3 multiplied by 3, take away 8. So y equals 9 minus 8, so y equals 1. So what we've then got is the coordinate of 3, 1, or we can say that a equals 1. Moving on to question 2. It says 13b lies on the line y equals 3 minus 2x find b. So for this, we know that, well, let's use a different colour. So here we know that x equals 13 and y equals b. So if I substitute each of this into the equation, I'm going to get, well, instead of writing y, I'm going to write b. And I've got 3 minus, and it's going to be 2 times 13. So I've got b equals 3 minus 26. 3 minus 26 is minus 23. So b equals minus 23. And again, I can write that as a coordinate. So it's going to be 13 minus 23. Now it doesn't say write your answer as a coordinate. It just says find b. So this should be your correct answer. But if a question asks you to find the coordinate, then you would write it as a coordinate. Moving on, moving on to our next example, so here we know that minus 2y lies on the line of y equals x squared plus 3, find the value of y. So for this, we've got x equals minus 2 and y equals y. So I'm just going to substitute that into the equation. So from this, I've got y, which is y equals minus 2 squared plus 3. So here I've got y equals minus 2 squared is positive 4 plus 3 so y equals 7 so again if I wanted to write it the coordinate it would be minus 2 positive 7 moving on to our last three examples so here we've got minus 4c lies on the line y equals x squared minus x so for this again I've got x equals minus 4 and y equals c so if I substitute all of that into this equation I get y or instead of writing y i'm going to write c equals and it's going to be minus 4 squared minus minus 4 now just again just need to be careful with the negatives as you can see what i've done is i've where i've got an x i've replaced it with minus 4 and i've put the minus 4 in brackets so minus 4 squared is positive 16 and minus minus 4 is positive 4 so here i've got c equals 16 plus 4 so c equals 20 and again as the coordinate it will be minus 4 20. moving on to question 5 it says od lies on the line 3x plus y equals 24. so again i've got x equals 0 y equals d substituting those into this equation here i've got 3 times 0 plus d equals 24 now 3 times 0 is 0 so I've got 0 plus d equals 24 so therefore d equals 24 and again writing it as a coordinate I've got 0 24 then for question 6 it says 
E0 lies on the line 2x squared plus y equals 32. Find the values of E. So again, I've got, let's change the color. And we've got x equals E and y equals 0. So from this, I'll just make this pen a little bit thicker. I'm going to substitute those values into this equation. So I've got, instead of writing x, I'm going to write E. So I've got 2E squared plus 0 equals 32. So I've got 2e squared equals 32. Take the e squared over to the other side. Sorry, take the 2 over to the other side and I get e squared equals 16. Now note in the question it says find the values of e plural. So that means there's going to be more than one value of e and then solving this e squared equals 16. So e equals plus or minus the square root of 16. So e equals plus or minus 4 in which I can write the answer as e equals minus 4 or positive 4. So writing that as coordinates, I've got minus 4, 0 or 4, 0. And there is my final answers for those. And hopefully that makes sense on how to find the missing ordinate when you're given one ordinate and an equation.